Hello everyone, it's Jessica Wilkinson, your Young Adult Services Librarian. And for this week's Teen Book Talk, I'm going to talk about some of the historical fiction that we have in the teen space. So let's get started. The first book is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. It is 1939, Nazi Germany. The country is holding its breath. Death has never been busier and will be busier still. By her brother's graveside, Liesel's life is changed when she picks up a single object, partially hidden in the snow. It is the grave digger's handbook left behind there by accident and it is her first act of book thievery. So begins a love affair with books and words, as Liesel, with the help of her accordion-playing foster father, learns to read. Soon she is stealing books from Nazi book burnings, the mayor's wife's library, wherever there are books to be found. But these are dangerous times. When Liesel's foster family hides a Jew in their basement, Liesel's world is both opened up and closed down. In superbly crafted writing that burns with intensity, award-winning author Marcus Susag has given us one of the most enduring stories of our time. The next book is Salt to the Sea by Ruta Septis. While the Titanic and Lusitania are both well-documented disasters, the single greatest tragedy in maritime history is the little-known January 30, 1945, sinking in the Baltic Sea by a Soviet submarine of the Wilhelm Gustloff, a German cruise liner that was supposed to ferry wartime personnel and refugees to safety from the advancing Red Army. The ship was overcrowded with more than 10,500 passengers. The intended capacity was approximately 1,800, and more than 9,000 people, including 5,000 children, lost their lives. Septus crafts four fictionalized but historically accurate voices to convey the real-life tragedy. Joanna, a Lithuanian with nursing experience. Florian, a Prussian soldier fleeing the Nazis with stolen treasure. And Amelia, a Polish girl close to the end of her pregnancy, converge on their escape journeys as Russian troops advance. Each will eventually meet Albert, a Nazi peon with delusions of grandeur assigned to the Gustloff decks. The last book I'm going to talk about is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Henry Monty Montague was born and bred to be a gentleman, but he was never one to be tamed. The finest boarding schools in England and the constant disapproval of his father haven't been able to curb any of his roguish passions. Not for gambling halls, late nights spent with a bottle of spirits, or waking up in the arms of women or men. But as Monty embarks on this grand tour of Europe, his quest for a life filled with pleasure and vice is in danger of coming to an end. Not only does his father expect him to take over the family's estates upon his return, but Monty's also nursing an impossible crush on his best friend and traveling companion, Percy. Since it isn't in Monty's nature to give up, even with his younger sister Felicity in tow, he vows to make this year-long escapade one last hedonistic hurrah and flirt with Percy from Paris to Rome. But when one of Monty's reckless decisions turns their trip abroad into a harrowing manhunt that spans across Europe, it calls into question everything he knows, including his relationship with the boy he adores. These are just three of the great historical fiction books that we have located in the teen space. 
so be sure to come on in and check them out. Thank you.